Welcome to VoiceOver Freedom on YouTube, the channel for aspiring voiceover artists. My name is Chris, I've been doing voiceover since 2010, and today we're going to talk about mouth noise. What is mouth noise and why is it bad? Mouth noise is any sort of unwanted noise caused by your mouth, usually your lip smacking, your tongue, anything like that. Now this is annoying because we don't want it to be inside of our recording, it can be distracting, it sounds unprofessional, and we need to get rid of it. So we have to be aware of how it's caused first. It's caused mostly from dehydration and our mouth unconsciously moving in certain ways. When we are dehydrated, our mouth and saliva get sticky and it produces a lot more saliva, which means that our tongue is sticking to the inside of our mouth and it's making more noise when we speak. Our lips are sticking more closely to each other. When we close our mouth and open it back up, it makes a smacking sound. So all of these mechanisms happening that we don't even think about uh, are being recorded by the mic. So first and foremost, make sure you're hy hydrated. So grab some water, make sure you drink that about an hour before going into the studio. And keep that handy so you can take little sips during your session and that's gonna help you keep hydrated. So very important, hydration. The second thing is try not to close your mouth all the way during the sentences. So this might be hard to do and it sounds awkward at first, but with practice, you will start to make this a habit. And the reason for this is because when you're recording, normally you wanna close your mouth all the way, right? You wanna close it down like, this is how I normally talk. This is how I normally talk. Today I had a great day. But every time you close your mouth and open it, it increases the chances of a mouth noise. But if you can train yourself to kind of keep your lips slightly parted so that they don't touch, you're not going to get that mouth, that lip smacking. So this is how I talk now. Notice how my mouth doesn't fully close at the end of a sentence. I keep my lips parted so that that way my lips don't smack. And then I move on to the next sentence. So if you can train yourself to do that, you're going to be in great shape. It's not as hard as I thought it would be, but it might be a little hard at first. But it's, it's a very effective technique. So hydration, stay very hydrated. Um, be aware of your mouth mechanisms. Use, your, uh, use that lip technique I just mentioned so that they don't close all the way. And uh, you can also use green apples. These don't work for very long, but a lot of voiceover artists swear by them is eating green apples removes that stickiness in your saliva. From my experience, it's a short-term gain, so use it but it's not going to last very long your mouth will get sticky if you're not well hydrated you can use it in combination with drinking water now you might be wondering if you can use a program to reduce the mouth clicks after the fact yes you can but from my experience any sort of manipulation done to remove noise is going to affect the overall audio to some extent so the best thing to do is remove the mouth clicks beforehand in the recording session not after the fact. It's going to be so much easier, it's going to be so much better for you in the editing process. And if the script is short enough, sometimes I'll go through the audio manually and cut out the mouth clicks one by one. That way they're 100% gone without affecting the main audio. This is easy to do, it's just a little time consuming depending on how long your audio is. But taking them out manually, for me, is a lot more effective than relying on any sort of plugin. The plugin is faster, but again, removes the overall quality to some extent of your audio. So there you have it, guys. Make sure you stay hydrated. Make sure you're aware of how your mouth works so that you're doing your best to avoid mouth clicks. And if you want to learn more on how to get started doing voiceovers from the comfort of your home, check out my six secrets voiceover video. It's in the description. I go over my six biggest secrets that teach you how you can get started doing voiceovers from the comfort of your home and getting paid while doing it. It's taken me years to learn, so it's some of my very best stuff. Definitely check it out so you too can learn how to get started. Make sure to subscribe for future videos. Take care, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.